Today we're making a village for our subscribers. In the last video I asked who would like a house in this world and I got over 300 comments. So we can't build everyone a house but we can do some of them. And I want to start that right now. We're going to clear out this area for the first part of the village. Okay so when we come along here we've got this giant ugly wall. We're going to have to make this into a nice retaining wall. And then we'll do a path around here and we'll be able to come up here. And this will be where the village goes, or at least the start of it. We're going to start the village by working on our first four houses for Cleo, Kate, Lilith and Skies. As I said in the last video, YouTube members get priority and then I'll also just be picking random comments from that video. Okay, we need to start out by planning builds and paths. So I think we'll do that fancy thing where people, ouch, don't perceive me. We're doing the thing builders do by planning with wool. We'll do cyan for paths and red for building. So we're going to have a path going along here, but I don't really need to plan this. And then another one going up the hill. And then our first house will go right here. Okay, this house is going to have a really good view out the back. We'll have to make sure there's windows. Then if we keep bringing the path over here, maybe we can do one in this area. The plan I have in mind with this one is for it to be kind of round and look like a tree stump. And then have like a house kind of built off the side. Then if we come down here, I had an idea for a really long house. So maybe that can go here. And then the last house, I think we'll do it over here when you're kind of coming into the village. Okay, so those are our first plots in. Now let's replace the cyan wool with actual path. We'll use the same blocks as most of Blossom Valley, which is cobble, stone and stone brick. This is so nice. Our path finally loops all the way around the waterfront. I've wanted to be able to do that for a while, so it's nice to get it done. I think we're ready to start a house and we're going to make a start on this one. This one is going to be for Cleo and her favourite colour is purple, which is a really easy one for Blossom Valley because we can use purple and amethyst and crimson wood. As well as incorporating favourite colours, we're also going to incorporate people's favourite flowers. But I don't know if I have a good supply, so we're ignoring that for now and we'll figure it out in a bit. But for now, let's build this house. I just had to go make some magenta glass, so we're still missing the window details. But other than that, we're done. There we go. Now what we're missing is their favourite flower and the interior. For this, we're just going to do some simple stuff like a bed and some chests. But, of course, we need them to be purple. So we're after purple wool and Cleo's favourite flower, Lily of the Valley. And we don't have any purple wool. Or magenta. None. Okay, well, let's check for Lily of the Valley. Oh, only one. Well then, as suspected, we need to go on an adventure and top up on the flowers. I'm also just going to make some purple sheep. Is that... <laughs> Skeleton horse! Wait, that's my horse that was tied up here. What the heck happened? Okay, I'm just going to dye these sheep and then we'll go get them. Mr. Bones, how could you run away on me like this? What are you doing, my guy? Let's go home. Okay, there you go. Right with the other skeletons. Now it's adventure time. We need to stock up on flowers. I'm going to look out for flowers along the way, but we're going to try and go somewhere new for a change. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, there's Mesa. That's interesting. There's no flowers here, though. It's the wrong kind of biome. Oh, is that a... Look, there must be a spawner. Oh, look at all that. I'm going to take some of these. Why do I hear spiders? Oh, I see webs. Oh, there's one below us. It's a double spawner. Hello. Then we seem to have another jungle and some planes. You know what? We're just going to stop and get these. <gasps> is this? Oh my gosh, it's a tiger. We don't have one of these in our world yet. Other than like the snowy ones. <gasps> a tiger village, our first tiger village. Absolutely wild. Oh, hello. Oh, shipwreck. Everything's distracting. Oh, sunflower planes and a giant hole. Oh, it's kind of a cool hole. And then we finally found Lily of the Valley. I wonder if I can bone meal this area to get more. Wait, is my, oh, my inventory is full. So I kept going around collecting more flowers. We found this meadow of azure bluets or whatever they're called. And there was a black rabbit. 
Unfortunately, we're way too far away to get it for our rabbit enclosure. Then eventually, I realized how low we are on rockets, so we started to head home. Excuse me? Is this Skyblock? We're back. Let's put down the flowers and sort out the interior. Flower, flower, and one in a pot. Then for the inside, we'll go bed, bedside tables, lantern, another lily, a crafting table and some chests, some shelves and some barrels with another lantern and some carpet. Okay, there we go. It's simple but functional. It's our first house done. Now let's do some more. We we'll go with this one next and the train's uneven so I'm gonna make a stone base for this like this. There. Okay, this house is gonna be for skies who likes pink. I'm not sure if we actually have good pink blocks or roofs. The difficulty is that there's nothing pink that has stairs and slabs. I think maybe we'll just use mangrove and pink terracotta. And then I'll find a way to include a touch of bright pink as well. But yeah, I think the colors either need to match and also need to have stairs and slabs. Otherwise I can just be accents or interiors. But nonetheless, we'll get whatever pink concrete we have. Okay, we have five. I think we'll use that for an entranceway, kind of like this. Okay, yes, it's building time again. Okay, and the flower for this house is tulips, so I've got some pink and some red ones. Cute, it's kind of Valentine's colors, which I love. I also did the inside, which is this, and I had a cute idea to give everyone mailboxes. But first, I wanna do the other two houses. We just need to collect a little bit more mangrove wood and then we can get them done in one hit. Also, I'm not sure, but I kinda of feel like this is gonna be a gap that I wanna fill today. So maybe we'll need a fifth house today. But first, we're just gonna zoom over here for a quick minute to the mangrove forest. And we'll do a little chop chop for a top up. If I can find the actual wood. Here we go. And now we're gonna build. First we have this house which I wanted to look like a big tree stump that someone had added to and converted into a house. This is for Kate and she wanted green and sunflowers incorporated. Unfortunately the sunflowers weren't facing the right way but I gave her a sunflower patch over to the left. Then for Lilith our theme was red and purple so I made this long house that kind of looks like two hobbit holes. Except they're not going into a hill and then I put a tower kind of in the middle. And then I did decide to do another house today to fill the awkward gap. This one is for Kenzie and it's another pink one. You might have seen right at the end of the time lapse but I just remembered. For the pink themed houses we actually have pink leaves. I don't know how I managed to forget that but I replaced the azalea leaves here and I made us a tiny cherry blossom tree here. So, so far the viewer village is looking very cute. Looks like this. Obviously it's not done yet, but it's super cute. I like it. Oh, also I gave everyone letterboxes and they've got their street number and their YouTube name. So the street starts down there at number one and goes two, three, four, and five. I would love to color them and use glow ink, but we'll see if we have enough. Oh, we got nine. That is actually plenty for now. And then we'll get the dye. Okay, for skies we have pink and purple, another pink, green, and red. Perfect. Oh, also, I did the interiors. This one is kind of fun because it has two rooms. Bedroom through here. And then we've got some little ones. This green one and this pink one. And we need to sleep. Now we're going to sort out this retaining wall. I think it's going to match this one. And then after that, I want to update our map of the area and see what everything looks like. And there's the wall. It helps so much, this area is looking so much more done. And now this house has a cute little lookout. I also made this path more decorated with like flowers and mushrooms. And now I wanna make a couple of lamp posts. Something like this. Lovely, they look great. I also added a little sign to this one. I already can't wait to add more to this village. I've got a lot of ideas in my head, but let's check it out on our map. And I had an idea for that too. So the map is over at the zoo because originally it was a zoo map but it kind of fits all of Blossom Valley. So we are here and the viewer village is here. So let us have an update. <gasps> Ooh, wait that one did nothing. Do I have to go over there? Maybe I do. Hello? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. It's a bit blank in this corner, but we're gonna fill that in. And it looks good. But I had an idea of labeling everything on the map. Dizzo and maybe our starter island in the viewer village. I'm not sure I remember how to do this, but we'll give it a go. It uses banners. For our test, we'll name this one Mushroom Road, which is our village of mushroom houses for our villagers. And then if we go to Mushroom Road, which is here, we can bury it. And then we click on it with the map. Oh, I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mushroom Road. So now it'll be on the map. And we'll do the same for Starter Island, Viewer Village, and the zoo. Or maybe we should get more complicated for the zoo and do different areas. Let's just go ahead and do some. Now we have labels for Mushroom Road, the Viewer Village, the Starter Island, the zoo, and the aquarium. And I think that'll be all for today. I think next time we're going to do something I've never done by myself in Minecraft, so that'll be fun. And we might add a couple of houses to the village. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!